Um, let's talk about, um, you know, the new EP coming out soon, um, Sun Shower. I mean, your yeah. tones are great on this. Your drums are sounding like as good as it ever was, you know, from yeah. back in the day. It's, it's, it's strange. It, um, you're the third interview today out of six to mention the, the sonic qualities and the tones and stuff like that. And I think it's fantastic. I'm, I just love being able to go and, um, you know, record in a real studio, almost like in the nineties, you know, and it's not, you know, you're, you're just putting things together. I, I really hate that. Whereas um, this situation was much like the black river situation. We ended up um, at Stewart's place, which is in BC. So I flew five hours West and Jeff flew 12 hours East. And um, we just, kind of laid it out like we used to we we had a space that we were rehearsing and writing in and i think i can't remember if this was a pre-tour thing or we finished a tour and we ended up there but that's usually how we do it whether it's australia or or vancouver or even in our hometown where i'm at um so the room was great um the 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 parts were were written well like we we spent a lot of time crafting the songs and stuff but then the one difference that we we did is every year I do a um a charity holiday charity holiday record for our our in Windsor essentially Windsor and Chatham Ontario in, in southwestern Ontario <clears throat> and um the guy that produces our record is much younger uh he's uh we've done 11 albums with him and we we do them every single year to raise money for uh, food banks but the sound quality that he gets from the tiny little kits that we use at his place and stuff just sound so incredible and the mix with that project is so much different it's it's it, i don't want to say it's pop because it's definitely not pop it's more pop rock um but very friendly and family friendly and i thought why don't we give martin back uh, an opportunity to mix it because both Jeff and, and Stuart know him as well. And, and we've done smaller things with him, but uh, it was just, you know, an easy opportunity. And we just forwarded him the, uh, you know, the stems and he just laid some magic on it. And what I like about it is that it's very much like your say Splendor Solace and Edges, but um, with the same, sonic intensity but it has that a little bit of touch of um modernness i guess you could say with regards to the separation of things so i really wanted the drums big and boomy like we always do but i wanted a tiny bit more of that definition and he he was just like oh i know what you mean how's this and i'm like kind of tweet that tweet that a little bit and before we knew it, it was just insane, you know, and that's, that's what he does. Like he's an engineer, mixer, masterer, and that's all he does literally 16 hours a day, every day. So um, it was great. It came back to the hometown and, and he's a lovely guy and he works with a lot of bands uh, from the States and so on. But um, I think he captured really what we were hoping he would. I know Jeff and Stuart are very pleased and, and I'm happy to hear, you know, the likes of yourself think that, you know, sonically and the tones and so on are, are as good as they are. Because we all know that the Tea Party are known for a certain caliber of, of sound quality. I mean, at yeah. least if we look into your back catalog, mm -hmm. I mean, bands would change and evolve, but mm -hmm. we obviously hear something in this that is like, it, it's it's going back to the roots it also in a sense exactly a hundred percent and that's what i wanted i and that's what we wanted i shouldn't keep saying me uh, that's what we wanted we wanted that big sound again but i just wanted that big sound 2.0 <laughs> from the 93 the 95 the 97 sort of style of recording so it it worked out fantastic I can't wait for everybody to hear the re the rest of the EP. It's it's I love it. It's a good time. And another thing too, I seen Jeff. You guys are having tour dates, you know, brought to you in a few days. You know, mm -hmm. be playing in Canada. That's awesome. Yeah. Did, where did you hear that? Because I literally emailed our manager this morning, late morning, and I said, "Hey, Liam, can you give us an update?" And Jeff and Stuart are copied and 
couple other folks from management. And I'm like, just an idea roughly. And he's like, oh, we're feeling things right now. I'll give you guys something in a couple of weeks or at the end of this week. I don't know. I'm like, excellent. It's pretty amazing. It's pretty amazing after this many years to be oh, yeah. able to do something that you love and, and the, the quality of the product, you know, the end product of your art uh, comes out as good as it does. It's pretty, it's, it's exceptional. It's so great. That's good. And, you know, you guys got a great website. Information's there, you know, and mm-hmm. there's a lot of stuff. Fans go there and probably go to, I don't know, all sorts of stuff. And, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's then, pretty cool. Yeah. And then you guys keep him busy with your YouTube page right now, which I think yeah. is um, starting to look great. And I mean, yeah. we're seeing some some new stuff finally on there. Yeah, I know. It's it, It's been a tough year, right? It's been a tough year for anyone. It's been a tough year for anyone to write about music because there wasn't a lot of music coming out. And if there was, it was usually stuff that you weren't expecting to come out because most bands were management were saying, let's delay this. Let's wait till we can tour. Like this was delayed probably a year because the intention was to release this to coincide with the tour. And the tour was canceled once then canceled twice then canceled a third and final time. And now we're, we're starting to look at other options, but I hope in a few years we do, uh, we do that tour like we had hoped it was. So it's like a four band tour across Canada. Um, just something that is very um, American. The American bands really know how to package themselves together. And I don't, I don't like the, the business side of things, but I love the fact that, man, there's, there's bands that are going out that were around, 40 years ago in America and say they were doing sheds 30 years ago and now they couldn't do a shed. But if you put three bands of the same caliber together, they're selling 15,000 tickets at a fair price. Everyone is having a great time and they're out doing what, what they love to do. And, and it's, I don't want to say it's tough or it's a bummer getting old, being older, being in a rock band because Honestly, I, I get what Mick Jagger loves to do. It's it's a high and so on and so forth. I don't know if I would do it that long, but it, it's it, it's great to be able to do those types of things. So I'm really hoping we we continue that thought process of doing like a multi band tour or something like that. It's just it's fun and and hanging out with other guys and girls and bands is fun. You know, everybody's like minded. Everybody does different things, and you know, I can't wait. But it's like that when you do um, multi-band products, it's like, or, you know, show, oh. you got to, you got to advertise it good. You know, yeah, you want to make absolutely. sure people, wow. I mean, you're yeah. giving it all. Yeah. And it takes a lot of the heat, I think, off of any particular band. I mean, each band has their own fans there. And if, right. you know, someone was, you know, really into the headstones and sort of liked Moist and the Tea Party, meh, and Sloan, meh, but then they saw Sloan and they saw the Tea Party. Then they were like, shit, I'm going to get that. I'm going to get, you know, this record. Or what song was that record off of? And and that's the way it's supposed to work. I mean, you're you're advertising your art. And I know we feel strongly about how we perform live. And I know that we can pull it off. So I was very much looking forward to that, playing to a bunch of people who didn't necessarily, who, who weren't, Tea Party fans buying tickets just for you. I really was looking forward to that new band experience kind of thing, like the first time you ever play in Germany and they've only heard of you, or the first time you ever play in Australia and they've only heard of you. You get a big rush after you see that conversion process um, from audience members. And uh, and it's great, you know, you get the slow claps at first and by the end of it, their arms are up and... Yeah. And it's fantastic. It's like the 70s and 80s, you know, United States of America, you know, opening bands, playing for the bigger bands. The, yeah. The big band eventually did. You yeah. Know, the big yeah. bands left and right. That's that's how that's how Rush became Rush, opening for Kiss. You know, it's like they, they really, really got to show their musicianship and their prowess. Two rock bands, but two separate Things one's more about the show and the entertainment value, and the other one's more about the song and and the players and so on. So, I don't know. I, I look forward to it. That's all I hope. <laughs> Where do you guys get the idea? You know, for the um, the artwork of you know, Sun Shower, the EP, like well, because it, so- it, it's like you know a simple yet interesting cover. 
Yeah, yeah. Stuart Stuart usually takes charge of things like that. He's, um, I mean, I suppose we're all artistic in one way or another, but he's he's continued on with visual art and so on. So he's usually in charge of that sort of stuff. It's going to make for great merch. I mean, that's about all you get from me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's good. It's a song on the record. So, you know, it, it, it'll, it'll, it'll do well. I, I know it will. Yeah. Do you foresee another, you know, real promo video? Like, you know, like. I don't, Zoom? I don't know. Like right now, um, once the new year comes around and I can see, um, you know, you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and things are, dates are coming to fruition and, um, you know, Right now, it's just hectic for everyone. Stuart and I are doing a lot of interviews. Jeff's moving. Um, you know, the indie album is coming out at near the same time as the EP, and then it's coming out in Germany or all of us or all of Europe as an album. Like, so it, it's a lot of confusing things. Once the dust settles in early 22, it's going to be nice to to say, okay, what do we need to prioritize and and do things like that. So I think you know, yeah, I could. I could definitely see something like, especially once we get back together in the same room, which has been over two years now, which is ridiculous. And I'll um, I release two things at once, you know, because like, well, it's, a, I think it just happened because everything got postponed so often. Right. So, I mean, I don't, the thing about it is not many people will buy a physical EP anymore, but, and if they do, that's fine, which is great. Um, but the re-release of our indie album, which is 31 years ago now, or almost 31, um, that that's coming out in vinyl and in CD. So it's, it's a ways and means to, especially for us, it's not necessarily a vanity project, but it is very much a vanity project because I could see this on album and I get to play it on my stereo. And, you know, just like when you're a kid, you get an album, um, that that's what it was all about. You can open it up and you can look into the liner notes and so on and so forth. And I think our audience that has grown with us, they're usually your audience starts around five or 10 years younger than you, your main demographic. And they were still listening to albums and CDs when, when they were kids. So it, it's a good opportunity to, uh, you know, remind them of uh, what they were listening to that when they were 15 years old. Well, Jeff, um, this is going to be great to see released and, you know, um, hopefully hit the radio. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's, it's, it's looking good now. I'm, I'm not a chart hawk, but I, I do see emails going between management and, and um, label and everybody thanking everybody for all the hard work they've done. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, keep pat yourself on the back, man. Just <laughs> get it on the radio. That'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, it would be. Well, it's like that uh, sun shower and eventually the new album coming out. Um, oh, all, yeah. all good. And yeah, man. I, yeah. Yeah. And I'm so sorry again for, for being late. That was completely my fault. I was, my alarm would have went off about four minutes to go. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least we got an interview done. I appreciate that a lot too. Yeah. I okay. really appreciate it, man. All right. Well, you have a good one and uh, hopefully everything good in your region. Uh, certainly with the, all the things happening in this world. Oh, I know. Yeah. Just no snow for now. That's all I want to keep it. No oh, snow. <laughs> all right. You take care. Yeah. All right, bud. Take all care. Right. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Yeah.